I was just saying that this is one of my favorite movies that I've watched this year so far. Nice. And I wasn't necessarily expecting it because it starts off like this kind of small indie type film and then all of a sudden it's just super action packed. And I'm curious how that played out on the script when you first read it. Yeah, it was very surprising. Um, I was uh, lucky enough to read it without anyone telling me about it first because oftentimes you get a script and it has like sort of a synopsis and I didn't know anything about it other than that he wanted to do it and so therefore I knew that I'd be somewhat, I'd be like, well, if he thought it was good, it's probably good. And It was shocking because it feels like kind of like Adventureland 2 until it just like goes Richter and like everyone tries to kill us and he turns into like, you know, a sleeper cell agent, whatever he is, like killer. Or whatever you are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whatever that is. Right, exactly. <laughs> in Jesse Eisenberg's words, how would you describe it? Mike. The character's like this sweet stoner kid in the middle of the country in West Virginia and he's like, He's trying to like propose to his girlfriend and think of the best time to propose to his girlfriend and then he gets basically like activated to become a fighter. He had been <laughs> trained to fight by the government and then he'd been brainwashed to forget about it and then he's like has to defend himself and he has actually this like incredible fighting skill but he's still this sweet, you know, peaceful guy. But it's so funny and it's so funny to watch him be so confused yeah. <laughs> yet he's so totally awesome and mm. kick ass at the same time and then a second later he's like wait what mm. yeah exactly <laughs> that's my favorite part of the film when people ask me what it's about uh um, but not in interviews, so I feel like I can just say whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm always like, it's literally the funniest thing. Like, you you see Jesse, like, we're just hanging out and, like, you know, we're dating and we really love each other. And then all of a sudden he's like, he like drops three guys with a spoon and goes, oh my God, what, what, like, what just up? Like, it's and so much behind easier. the pole, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's so much easier to do an impression of his surprised face to sh tell what the movie's about rather than, like, try and explain why. Like, but literally just that, like, that drop is so. Right. And yeah. even today, when you guys watch the movie that you're also in, are you still just dying laughing and so excited to see it? Yeah, I still think it's so funny. They just put out a, like a commercial today because their line is like, "I'm trying to like uh, negotiate like getting her released," and I tell the bad guy like, "Okay, you have to surrender." Mm -hmm. He goes, "Okay, fine, I surrender." And I say, "Okay, how do I accept it? Do I have to sign something?" <laughs> and it's just this really funny juxtaposition of, "How do you, of, yeah, do you have to <laughs> surrender?" Yeah. It's just these people put in an yeah. action movie who should not be in it. Right, a normal person is just very straightforward too and just kind of making fun of the genre itself. And, yeah. and yeah. in the end, we see your characters, they're totally beat up, there's just blood everywhere, and I'm just so curious how long it takes to get through that makeup process and what it looks like when you finally look at yourself mm. and you're all like bashed in. Mm. Like honestly, the most makeup I had on my face took four hours to do and then like two hours to get off. It's incredible. I mean, the technicians, that are, I mean, they're amazing artists and they yeah. do it, you know, with full, you know, like uh, reference photos and everything. It's, it's amazing. Um, and it's really funny because it's real. Like in the movie that was not supposed to, we're not supposed to be action stars. We're supposed to be just real people. So we look really like... Uh, Most of the time, like people take hits in action movies and then they get up and they're just like perfect. Yeah. <laughs> You're not used to seeing people completely mangled and like by the end of it we just really do get badly badly beat up. Right. Although I do take one hit that's so absurd and then just get right back up. It's like literally um, uh, Walt like clocks me. I he would have killed me. He would have knocked my oh, head right, off. Oh I remember that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Made in Hollywood